So last week, I was in New York for a couple of days visiting with some Brooks School alums. And when traveling for the school, I'm always asked, how do I think the year is going? It won't surprise you to learn that I always answer that question with some version of great. Yet, I want to emphasize that this year's great has been an especially emphatic one due to lots of things I'm feeling this year. It certainly helps to be in a more post-COVID state than we've been in since the pandemic began, and the largely unrestricted way we are living together this year has felt good. I have felt energized by new colleagues who have already brought so much to the school and are proving to be quick studies when it comes to sorting out who and where we are while thinking about what we still want to be. I have felt impressed again and again by returning colleagues who have led and taught so well and so long here and seem to find new and important ways of making a difference every year. I've been deeply impressed by the degree to which the class of 2023 has jumped into this year, mindful of the station they occupy as leaders and handling that privilege, responsibility, and opportunity with the care it deserves and requires. And I've had great fun forking over $5 Frank Ashburns up and down Main Street at a record pace, due in part to the willingness of mostly new students to ask whether I know their names, which I am grateful for, and in part to my having fallen behind in this regard through the pandemic. I will keep working on it. In sum, I felt so fortunate to be part of a community with so many people making it go. New and seasoned perspectives, new and returning students and adults, and an openness to what might be ahead that feels exciting. So yes, my great this year is an especially emphatic one due to all of you. It is also true that we are now right in the middle of what I would identify as the best month of the year at Brooks if I had to pick just one. There are lots of reasons for my October enthusiasm, but two stand out among the others. First, the weather and scenery at this time of year is the best. It's not debatable. Cool mornings, warmer afternoons, leaves turning, vibrant colors everywhere, and the average dew point, or best way of measuring how humid it feels outside is about 44 or 45 degrees, according to my Google search. This is as close as any month comes to the optimal level of 47 degrees, and I'd be happy to explain why 47 is the number if you're interested after chapel. Second, our school is in full stride in October. We're well into fall classes, mastering essays and papers and whatnot. Afternoon programs are running along. We're winning games, pulling performances together, and there is no better month at Brooks to be outdoors. And this brings me to the heart of my talk today, the Chipotle Challenge 2022 edition. It has been seven years now since I first used Chipotle as a bribe to get as many of you as possible to explore the great outdoors right here on our campus. I appreciate that I am hopelessly past any point of objectivity about the 270 acres we are so fortunate to occupy and go to school on together. There are lots of beautiful boarding school campuses in and beyond New England, but I wouldn't trade our campus for any of them. The careful work of skilled architects, planners, trustees, builders, and landscapers has turned our main street into an extraordinarily beautiful center of the school. As I was making my way around Saturday evening and then took in the block party, I was struck again and again by how well our Main Street works as a community space. Yet there's so much to see beyond Main Street, and the Chipotle Challenge aims to put you in touch with our surroundings. My challenge each year is coming up with some mildly interesting way of getting you beyond the core of the school and into spaces and places that I really do think you will appreciate more and more as your years here move along. I know from experience 
that you will return here at points in your life after graduating and be overcome by the beauty of this place. We don't want you to miss that beauty while you are here as a student. That's what the Chipotle Challenge is about, coaxing you to fall in love with your campus while you are still here. I've noted on a number of occasions that I believe one of our school's many strengths is that we are exceptionally good at remembering. This is evident here in Ashburn Chapel as much as it is anywhere at Brooks. The flag back there above the exit sign entryway notes all Brooks School students who served this country after attending the school and leading up to World War II. 91% of those students served. And the 12 gold stars at the top of that flag commemorate the 12 students who died while serving this country in that global conflict. Their names are on the first two tablets on the wall to the right, right back there, uh, as you exit chapel, check them out. There are four more names of alums who have been added, sadly, who also died in service to the country since World War II. There are names in both wings, names over here, names over there, there's a name back there. There are plaques in the ground outside of the chapel that honor alums who have passed. And both of the benches, to the left and right along the chapel walk, are in memory of students who died while attending Brooks, both of them, in April of 1980, if you can imagine that. The columbarium, which is right down here, holds the remains of a number of Brooks School pillars and icons, Mr. Ashburn chief among them. So with this year's Chipotle challenge, I'm thinking a lot about our beautiful campus and remembering well. To that end, I'm gonna give you six places on campus where there is a plaque or a bench or both. Your task in a group of at least three is to visit all six places and capture pictures or videos of yourselves at each of those places. You then send those pictures and videos to me by conventional email, not Snapchat or Instagram. And you will have earned yourself a Chipotle dinner we will enjoy, perhaps at the head of school's residence before we break for Thanksgiving. You need to complete this Chipotle challenge by the end of October and bonus points will go to the group that does the challenge on the perfect fall day, dew point being the key. Wednesday through Saturday of this week look promising if you were wondering when you might get started. So here are the six locations and some pictures I took yesterday morning while walking Truman and taking in our beautiful campus. I suggest you go in this order. First stop, this will take some doing as construction on what will be our new boathouse is underway. But there is one bench and one plaque that are must visits as part of every Chipotle challenge. The bench seen here remembers Joe St. Cyr, class of 2014, son of Mr. St. Cyr, who takes care of the grounds and has as much to do with the beauty of this campus as anyone has over the past 30 years. Joe died far too young, and this bench captures who he was. Not far from this bench, remembering Joe is a plaque remembering Peter Nicholson, class of 1979, one of the four names on the third tablet in the back who died in service to this country. It's no accident that this site was chosen for these two memorials. It is breathtaking, particularly on a perfect fall day. Read and think about both inscriptions when there and capture a picture. Second stop, once you clear yourself of the boathouse construction site, continue along the path until you approach the makeshift sailing program launch area. You'll see a big and beautiful oak tree on your right and this plaque at the base of the tree. Diffie Mellon, was in the first graduating class at Brooks after beginning here as a second former or eighth grader in the fall of 1927. A fun fact about Diffie 
is that he was the first Brooks School student to set foot on this campus, as his mother got the arrival date wrong and came a day or two early. As a result, Diffie and his mother spent their first nights at Brooks with Mr. Ashburn in his home. So don't come early. You could get stuck with me if you do. The view from what is now his spot is worth taking in. Take a picture with all of you around his plaque. Third stop, from here the Chipotle challenge continues by walking the whole length of the fire trail along the lake and capturing a picture at my favorite stop on the trail. This panoramic picture revealing my limited iPhone camera skills does not do it justice, but you'll know you are there when you get there. Spectacular, incredible fall colors. Capture your group with the lake behind you and continue on your way. Fourth stop, after making it to the northwest corner of the fire trail, and then up the trail towards the playing fields, developing an appreciation for the cross-country team's challenging route, you should make your way to this plaque remembering Anna Trusty. We pass this plaque all the time, not sure how often we stop and read it. Do that and capture a picture of all that's around you. Fifth stop, head out towards the north entrance of the school and look for two seldom visited plaques these days. The first, seen here, remembers Oscar Root, who was on the faculty for many years and planted most of the beautiful flowering trees we continue to enjoy today. A bit closer to the entrance is this plaque, remembering Murray S. Danforth, Jr., class of 1942. Much of what was planted in that part of the campus was planted in his honor. In addition to attending Brooks, he served in the Board of Trustees for more than 25 years. And the organ behind me that Mr. Humphreyville plays so beautifully was given to the school by his family while he was a student here in 1939. Find a nice spot around these two plaques and capture the scene. The last stop is a bench overlooking the lower field hockey and lacrosse field that Taryn King, class of 2003, starred on before we had Anna K. Trustee Memorial Field. Taryn died while studying abroad as a Bowdoin College student in 2006, just 21 years old. This is her 20th reunion year and the inscription on the side of the bench honors her. It is a bit hard to read in the slide, but is well worth reading when you are there. A picture with your group on and around this bench will complete the challenge. I suppose I hope engaging in this year's Chipotle challenge accomplishes two things for us. First, that we get off of our beaten paths and out into our surroundings on a perfect fall day with friends and classmates in a way that reminds us of the physical and natural beauty of our school. Second, at a time when we continue to remember Preston Settles and work on ways to keep him with us going forward, we will see and feel the evidence in support of my claim about how well our school remembers. I've always felt and feel a bit more every year deeply appreciative of living and learning in such a beautiful place that remembers so well. I hope taking on this year's challenge gives you that feeling as well. You matter here. Have fun, and I look forward to lots of Chipotle with all of you in November. Thank you. <laughs>